Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here. Today I would like to continue on yesterday's video on how I doubled my testosterone without testosterone replacement therapy. In the previous video I explained how I optimized my nutrition. Today I will focus on the exercise program which I followed. Now in December 2016 I tore my right pec as you can see in the images here and this led to a subsequent decline in my health and therefore in my hormonal levels. Now in March 2017 I had my testosterone levels tested in a laboratory and you can see that the results show that I had 12.2 nanomoles per litre. This was four months after my injury so I was already training and I already had a very decent nutrition um, but I was very disappointed with these results. So here are my test results after a year and three months of being on an optimized nutritional supplementation program that I developed for myself, as well as an improved training program. You can see that the levels now are 22.5 nanomoles per liter. So it's very obvious that my testosterone levels almost doubled from 12 nanomoles per liter to 22.5 nanomoles per liter, which is basically going from 350 all the way up to almost 700 nanograms per deciliter. Now I recently described my supplementation changes and that was in a previous video and today I'd like to concentrate on the changes I made to my training program. Now the main thing that I did with my program was to simply focus on compound movements uh, because there are many studies that show that compound movements increase testosterone and I won't bore you with, with all the science I mean there are lots of studies showing um, and listing the following movements that actually increase testosterone basically being squats deadlifts Olympic weightlifting um, mainly any exercise any compound exercise that would involve high amounts of muscle mass to actually do the work basically multi-joint exercises such as the ones listed otherwise known as compound movements uh, will obviously increase your testosterone. It makes sense. The effort is just that much greater. Of course, there are other variables such as rep range and sets, etc., that are also important in eliciting an increase in testosterone. But mainly, the, the thing that I did was focus on compound movements. And in, in summary, by uh, focusing on these compound movements, what I basically did to my body was increase the metabolic stress on it and any form of stress on the body is basically signaling a survival mechanism which boosts your hormonal levels. So in optimizing my training as I mentioned I used compound movements basically the squat and the deadlift I did not use Olympic weightlifting and the reason was my injury was too severe and I still have shoulder uh, issues at the moment that I'm trying to fix um, but besides focusing on these compound movements I also focus on something that a lot of people don't necessarily do nowadays and that is progressively increasing the poundages. There is a common trend in changing your workout all the time. Uh, it's recommended by uh, many people that you should change your workouts frequently. And although there is an advantage to changing the exercises to hit the muscles at different angles etc, when it comes to increasing muscle and strength nothing beats progressive resistance training by focusing on compound movement and increasing the weight uh, that is being moved slowly over time um, you will simply get stronger and you will get larger and it's as simple as that so just to give you an example of my progress over the year after my surgery I was um, yeah three four months after my surgery post surgery only squatting um, 60 kilos for 10 reps I was very weak um, you've seen from my previous video I wasn't um, in the best state of health but after a year of training um, and optimized uh, supplementation my uh, my ability to squat increased tremendously and I was pushing a hundred kilos or more for at least 10 reps and so progressive resistance training in compound movements really helped improve my overall health and especially my testosterone levels. So here's the basic program that I used. I trained three times a week uh, focusing on 
uh, splitting the body between workout A, legs, and workout B, which was the upper body. Workout A, which was focused on legs, uh, my main focus was squatting, where I performed three to five sets of two to 10 reps. Basically, I would sometimes be working on, on increasing my strength. So I'd, work, I'd usually work four weeks uh, boosting up my strength in the low rep range and then work hypertrophy after that for four weeks. Um, after that, I usually would perform walking lunges for two to three sets up and down the gym, uh, leg curls for four sets, four to eight reps, and calf raises, five sets times 10 to 20 reps, finishing off with abs. I mean, nothing, this is nothing um, new. This is uh, not rocket science, it's just a bit, very basic abbreviated program. Uh, workout B, which would uh, be mainly upper body work, uh, consisted of the deadlift to start off. I know that's not necessarily upper body, that's total body. Um, three to five sets of three to five reps, again, working on strength. After that, I would um, have my body pretty warmed up, and so I would continue with barbell rowing, three sets of five to eight reps. Pull downs, four sets of six to 10 reps. Uh, bench pressing, five sets of 10 to 20 reps. Notice the high rep range here, and that was mainly because uh, of my injury, uh, my pec tear, I couldn't actually uh, do heavy bench pressing at all. Um, so I would actually just work uh, very light um, and make sure I just get some motion in, in the shoulder joint. My military press, three sets of five to eight reps, although that might seem like strength training. Uh, again, I only used very light weight. Um, I would finish up I would finish off this uh, second workout uh, doing barbell curls, three sets of 10, uh, of 10 reps, and triceps pressed down on the cable, five sets times 10 reps, and with abdominals again. Um, the way I alternated this program was, for example, in the first week I would train Monday workout A, uh, followed by a, a rest day, Wednesday workout B, resting again on Thursday and Friday A, and then alternating the second week with Monday workout B, Wednesday workout A, and Friday workout B. Basically, it's just a split. Um, I'm almost 40 years old, so this uh, splitting of legs and upper body with a rest day in between works for me. Of course, if you were younger with a greater recovery rate than myself, you probably could, could get away with working out four days a week doing legs and upper body um, on two consecutive days with a rest day in between and following that up at the end of the week. So the take home message from this small series on optimizing your testosterone levels um, is firstly, you wanna check your hormonal levels first before trying any T boosters or even TRT, go to a doctor and make sure that you fall within normal ranges. Um, if you don't, that's when I would start considering um, any form of, of a hormonal uh, balance treatment, be it a T-booster, be it a TRT or whatever. But uh, before even doing TRT or T-boosters, my recommendation is to optimize your nutrition, especially, especially uh, your supplementation. Uh, multivitamins and minerals, um, as well as topping up with magnesium, calcium and zinc, and making sure you have enough vitamin D3 are all very important just for the production of testosterone in your body. Um, besides that, of course, using uh, resistance training uh, uh, such as compound movements, making sure that you progressively increase the resistance over time in these big movements is going to make a big difference as well in boosting your testosterone. Um, only after really uh, optimizing your training and your nutrition should you really consider uh, yeah, playing with your hormonal levels further using T-boosters or, or TRT. This is my recommendation anyway, from my own experience. I am, I am not a medical doctor, but this is my own experience. And I think going through the natural way, it takes time, um, but it is much healthier in the long run. Of course, you also wanna make sure you get enough sleep and always have a positive mindset. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed this short series on optimizing your testosterone levels. If you have, please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm, and thank you for watching. Leave me a comment, and bye for now.